Hello everybody, welcome to Mike's Mike, my name is Mike, and welcome to the first episode of Essential Viewing, which is a series that I'm going to start where I show and talk about uh, my favourite reality TV scenes on all different types of shows, and I've just written down a list, and let me tell you, you guys are in for a treat. Big Boss India, Pooja, what is this behaviour? Pooja, what is this behaviour? I'm sorry, I kicked it by mistake. You can't kick Amy's Baking Company. Look at him, he's like, where's my pizza? <laughs> really? Send him home! Hotel Hell Shit on the Floor. There have been times when I have had diarrhea, but it doesn't happen very often. But to kick things off, I thought it'd be fun to talk about something new, something current, and that is this absolutely iconic, inspirational, breathtaking, talented scene from The Bachelor US where this girl is pretending to have an Australian accent so that she can stand out. But when this popped up on my Twitter timeline, I just recognized a scammer and I was like, wow, welcome. Colton, what's your name? Standard bachelor shenanigans. She walks in with red dress, blonde hair, blue eyes. Don't actually know if her eyes are blue, but probably based on the stereotype. Normal, everything's fine. Colton, what's your name? Bree. Bree. So nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. What's your name? Bree, uh, B-R-I. A bit controversial spelling is not short for bridge. We don't actually know. Mind you, I can't really judge. My name is like probably the most basic white boy name. However, people still spell it wrong. At least people aren't gonna spell Brie with an I wrong. Actually, no, they are. They're gonna put EE. You got a nice accent. <laughs> Where are you from? Um, the accent, it's Australian. I just wanted to point out that this is actually a really good Australian accent. Like, sis has been practicing. She's been at home, she's been like, hey mum, can I run some lines with you? And her mum's gonna be like, sorry, what? And she's like, yeah, I just wanted to practice my Australian accent, I'm going for a part. Cause that's pretty much what The Bachelor is. Like these are people trying to get careers in the entertainment industry. Like, let's not be naive and think they're going on there for love. Like, sweetie, no. And I hope Bachelor runs her, her check. This video has 20 million views on Twitter. Excuse me, you and everyone. The accent, it's Australian. I was hoping that you're kind of a sucker for accents. The first time I saw this, I was like, oh my God, this is some Gandhi level. Gandhi? Houdini? Don't know where I was going with that. But what I was trying to say is that the second I saw this, I was like, damn, sis is talented because he says, where are you from? And she says, the accent is Australian. So she didn't lie. She's not gonna be caught in a lie. Try and edit her in a negative way. Excuse you, she can just pull up them receipts and be like, did I lie? I said, the accent is Australian, not I am Australian. Being that you're kind of a sucker for accents. I, I don't am. know what you think about it. I love it. I'm hoping you're a sucker for accents. Don't know what you think about it. Honestly, if you think about it, it's actually like a really good move. However, logistically a nightmare. Now, spoiler alert, she does tell him that she's not actually Australian and that she's putting on the accent. He's like, huh, huh, quirky. But imagine if she went the entire way through and then he ended up giving the final rose to her and she was like, hey, um, by the way, I'm not actually Australian, screaming. Or like, imagine if she told him that she was faking the accent, but then around all the other girls, she put on the accent. Like, just imagine the reality TV moments. I'll see you inside, all right? Okay, all sounds right, good. I'm not really Australian, but you have to do what you can to stand out. I'm not really Australian. All I'm gonna say is you have to respect a real one when you see them, and this girl right here, she's a real one. I'm not really Australian, but you have to do what you can to stand out. Mm. Hopefully she's putting this much energy into other ventures because that accent was really good and she would have had to practice quite a bit. So Brie, mate, hopefully you can use this skill somewhere else. Now I know this is potentially problematic and I feel like I can say it because I'm a basic looking white person, but The Bachelor himself is the most basic looking white person I've ever seen. Like he just looks like someone whose name is Chad. Or like Brad, or like Matt. Actually nah, he's not a Matt, the face is too square. Honestly me, when I'm around someone who has an accent, especially British, like if I have like one of those royal British accents, like Emily Blunt, if someone's like speaking like that, I'll just be like, wow, that's such a good point. Even if they're like literally talking shit. And like, what are some more? Spanish and Korean. I just love how those languages sound because I have absolutely no idea what they're saying. But when they talk, I'm just like, continue. Just keep talking. Like they could be absolutely roasting me in their native tongue. I'll just be like, Continue, please. Someone's gonna say it and I'm gonna say it. Bree's either like really smart or like really scary. Like I just watched you, the Penn Badgley show and he's like a stalker and he like does all this stuff to get involved in this girl's life. I'm like, is Bree pulling a Penn Badgley and trying to get in 
Brad Chad's life. Anyway, that's the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the first part of Essential Viewing. I'm not sure which one I'll do next. If you have any scenes from a reality TV show that you think are just hilarious, let me know in the comments and I might include it next time. What are your thoughts on Bree's iconic and or tragic Australian accent? Um, as an Australian, I'm impressed, but maybe someone who hears Australian accents on TV and you're like, mmm, that ain't it. If you liked the video, feel free to hit that like button and hit subscribe so you can get the next video in this series and any other video that I post. Hope you all have a fantastic couple of days and I'll see you all soon. Peace out. Uh, bye.